It's the OCG fam show. When you're doing a slurry test, is the PPM more important than the pH? Let's talk about it. Hmm. Hey there. I'm from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG fam show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? How's everybody doing out there? Uh, let me know in the comments and we'll talk about that after the show. Right now, let's just get into the show. I got a clip. I think you're gonna like. You want it nerdier? I think this is nerdier. It's still basics. It's still basics, but it's a basis for a conversation of getting nerdier about getting deeper into this. So uh, I wanna see some good good comments and questions in the comments about this if we could, I'd appreciate it. The clip is about pH versus PPM. Your pH versus your uh, parts per million of uh, you know salts in your, in your soil slurry test. Which one's more important? Watch the clip and then we'll talk about it. Would you say that the PPMs are necessary, important, the parts per million, as well as the, the pH? Or can you get by with just the pH? I mean, if, if you're trying to dial stuff in, the, the yeah. combo is the key. If I yeah. had to choose one, pH is, mm -hmm. I mean, without proper pH, they're not eating. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if you're feeding them 8,200 parts per million or 10. If it's at 7, 9, they're not going to eat any of it. So it doesn't matter. So. I think pH it, to us is more important than uh -huh. PPMs by all means. That's why we don't have a PPM scale on our feeding schedule. Yeah. A lot of nutrition nutrient companies are like, feed at 1,700 parts per million. It's like, well, that's pretty random. I mean, uh -huh. what if my plant's this tall and I was at 1,700 parts per million? It's dead. So that's a, not my favorite way of growing. Uh, pH, though, is always going to be critical in any time of a plant's life. So understanding what's happening with the pH is going to help you make those plants bigger, better, and, and more yield. So this maybe is a lot like your pulse and your blood pressure, where I take your pulse to see if you're alive, and if you have a 160 pulse, something's going on here. I'm trying to work with that. But knowing your blood pressure would sure be helpful to me long-term and to really make <laughs> well, sense. And understand what blood pressure is. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't know it, what does the 85 over 120 mean? Mm -hmm. Then you're really going nowhere. So yeah. it's, you know, every time they sit, take my blood pressure in the hospital, like, Blah, 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 give me my numbers. I'm like, wow. Well, okay. I mean, I go to the is, doctor this many times today. Is that good? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, is that like, are you judging me right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. What do you think of that? Informative, entertaining, helpful? What did that bring up in your mind? Any questions, any comments, any thoughts uh, in the comments? And then we'll we'll get into it more on the show. That's show for today. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show. It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.